lounge and sun. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be spotlighting one of my favorite cartoonists, Daniel Warren Johnson. Definitely talked about him a lot on the channel before, uh, but this episode is going to be purely dedicated to his sketchbooks and his bootleg comics that he'll sell at his conventions when he goes. And I finally got the chance to meet him earlier this year at WonderCon, and I was super stoked to finally be able to pick up some of these books, which you can only get if you see him. And I just wanted to quickly, you know, kind of spotlight them, flip through them, show everybody kind of like what he has and why you definitely, if you have a chance, should go meet him at a con and pick up anything this dude does because it's phenomenal. So I'll just flip through each one and go through it that way. So Thank You Liger is a wrestling zine that he did. This is obviously something that, you know, you see more of with Duo Powerbomb. He became, is a huge fan of wrestling. He talks about, you know, how his love for wrestling started in the afterword of Duo Powerbomb. If you haven't picked that up, go check it out. Also have an episode on the channel. If you're interested, we also have an interview with Daniel Warren Johnson. Um, super awesome dude to talk to and very, very uh, talented cartoonist in the game right now. So this is just kind of showing off his his skill for pacing and fight scenes. Um, I love this. I love the way he hand letters his, you know, the sound effects, the different wrestling moves, the action. This is something you'll see in all of his stuff. You know, this came out before Do a Powerbomb, if I remember correctly. But I mean, like I said, I've already I had read that book before getting a chance to pick up these zines. Man, dude, like they're just such good snapshots into all the different tools he has in his toolbox artistically. I mean, this is just fucking insane. The energy that crackles off his pages and literally like the way he draws like, the boom coming in as he slams down. Awesome, dude. And this is another thing he did a lot of in Do a Power Room 2 is where like you'll see the moves that are being done in the hand lettering. So you got the Liger Bomb as he's slamming down here. And then of course, this is the thing that really I think makes this book special too is you zoom out and you see that you're looking at a tablet and it's Daniel himself sitting at the drawing board and you can just see like all these things going on in the background. If you pay close attention, you can see Space Mullet, which is one of his first works. You can see Murder Falcon. Like those are his sketchbooks, obviously, with all his stuff that he's done. And just, I love seeing like, you know, the bookshelves, all the different, you know, the workstation. I love when we get to see cartoonists in their element. And I think this is a cool little uh, nod to those things that we've seen so much before and we get this you know thank you for the inspiration liger happy retirement so this is just a great great snapshot into like the wrestling world especially for somebody like myself who i mean obviously liger is a real wrestler because he's thanking him but i'm not familiar with the wrestling world at all i have a lot of friends that are but it's it's cool that you, even if you're not a fan that he can pull you in and you just you're excited. You almost want to check out wrestling. I mean, it makes me want to check out wrestling for sure. And then we got a couple uh, pinups by Ramon Villalobos, uh, Mort Crim Jr., j I'm not familiar with them, and R. Lopez Ortiz. So cool couple uh, pinups in the back. Of course, you know, like all his information is on the back of all these. I'll share those links down below where you can find him and pick up some of his other stuff. Now we got one of his sketchbooks that he did uh, during, you know, Sketchtober. For this one, he did Wrestletober. So we get a bunch of really dope wrestlers that he did each day. Again, I'm not super well-versed in the wrestling world, so I don't know some of them. I mean, some of them look familiar. I know more of the ones from like the 80s, like Hulk Hogan, Jake the Snake, Ric Flair, stuff like that. Um, but these are just fucking awesome. just wanted to sh show this off a little bit. I love when he does the wrestling moves and just so much action in these. I love this one. It's dope. The dude's sticking his tongue out. Got the wrestling ring in the back. Like, all of these are just phenomenal. So, if you ever see his sketchbooks go on sale, like, definitely worth picking up. Love this. From undesirable to goddamn undeniable. Awesome, man. But yeah, he killed it on the sketchbook. I love this. Now we got a couple Star Wars uh, bootlegs that he did. I'll start off with... Uh, 
Green Leader. I love Star Wars. Huge Star Wars fan. It's evident that Daniel is as well. I think I mentioned it in one of the videos where I would love to see him do like a Star Wars grand design. I think that would be phenomenal. You know, kind of like what Ed Piscor did with X-Men. He did three books. Let Daniel do three books of each trilogy as a book. I think it would be a huge seller. And I know that I know it will come out dope. So anybody listening or watching, you know anybody at Marvel? Not nudge them a little bit because I think we all deserve to see that book. But this is awesome, you know. I I love that he's spotlighting, you know, just a regular soldier in the in the Rebel Alliance. You know, this is set during the original trilogy, obviously. I mean, I just want to see a sci-fi book by him. I haven't seen Red Space Mullet. Um, I would love to see that back in print because I think he does like his design for spaceships. I think in Betty Rear Bill, you see that a lot. Really good stuff. Um, look at this scene, dude. It's fucking phenomenal. And it's, you know, it's a wordless comic, but it's just, it's full of so much action and, you know, you even have like emotion in it. And I think he's really good at capturing that, you know, capturing the emotion of his characters. It's something that, you know, there's heart in everything he does. Um, so this was a really dope one. This is the one that, you know, kind of piqued my interest when I first saw it. Old Man Skywalker. I mean, how does this not excite you? Luke looking bloodied and you know, in the vein of like old man Logan, seeing an older Luke and just fucking going to town, dude. This is this is what I was excited about. So we got Luke just standing in this hallway. Stormtroopers are bound. There's this mysterious dude that's coming at him. Luke is powerful at this point. He's a Jedi master. He's no longer, you know, just a regular Jedi. He's trained for years. He's mastered the all his powers and just getting to see this and just how he systematically takes all of them out, taking the ship apart, using that, destroying a ship. I mean, look at the, the energy here is just, again, destroying the entire ship with both this villain who I, I don't know if Daniel created him. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this. This Maybe this is from some of the Dark Horse comics, but I don't know this character. But just seeing them squaring off in space on the broken parts of the ship, crazy. Sound of the lightsaber being turned on. Love that. Love this too. Like the enter the the speed lines behind them as they're squaring off. Yeah, so this is another one that well, like I said, this is what kind of piqued my interest in like I need to seek these out. I had no idea he had some of the other ones. Man, I would I would love to see more of this. Look at that spaceship. The level of detail he does is insanity. Luke stands over triumphant, spits on the helmet, walks away. That's the Luke we should have seen in the new trilogy, in my opinion. This is what I think a lot of us wanted to see. So getting to see this little snapshot of it, I want more. I definitely want more. This is a dope one. Wanted to check these out. Martok, this is obviously a Klingon. I know that much. These are not wordless, so this, is, this has got a little bit of a story to it. And again, you know, since I'm not well-versed, I'm sure Star Trek fans probably have a leg up on me in this department of kind of understanding some of the characters, but either way, just a great book. I mean, look at this double page spread. This is, but yeah, this, th like, <laughs> I'd read a Star Trek book with Daniel Ward Johnson on it for sure. Like, this is, this is what I really want to see. I know he's done a, I think he's even doing a couple variant covers for uh, the new Star Trek crossover that's coming out as of the time I'm recording this. It's coming out this month, Day of Blood. But this is just fucking dope. And again, like the Klingons are, I, from what I know, are more like the villains, I guess, in some of the shows. I could, again, I could be wrong. I hope I'm, you know, not trying to like talk shit on Star Trek. But, you know, this is, this is, I don't normally think of the Klingons as like the main characters of stuff. So getting to see this was kind of cool. And then we got this, Cherno. So I, this one, I'm not, I'm pretty sure this is more of a creator-owned book or creator-owned uh, creation from him this is kind of reminds me of like pacific rim i don't know if maybe i don't know yeah, i don't think it is but this is fucking pretty dope they get in these mech suits they're fighting kaiju again like godzilla book by daniel warren johnson's dope a godzilla book by him would be really dope i would love to see that insanity dude. he draws monsters so well i mean everything technology monsters that's that's the sweet spot the action Energy and heart is how I would describe his work if you had to ask me in three words. But this is another really dope story. 
And like I said, I just wanted to kind of spotlight some of these. Bunch of awesome stuff that you could pick up from him if you see him at a con. Go pick them up. You won't be disappointed. I will drop all these down below too as well. The links where you can find him. Um, you won't be disappointed with any of his work that you pick up. Creator owned. Marvel or DC stuff. All really awesome. He's got a Transformers book coming out that I'm super excited for. Um, but yeah, go check him out. Uh, make sure you follow Comic Lodge as well. Hit links are down below. Hit the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new vid goes up. And on that note, we're out.